Hello, I'm Dave Fulker with OpenDAP, and I'm sorry that a trip to Myanmar has prevented my being with you in Denver. I'm the happy recipient of an EarthCube grant to build an Open Data Services Invocation Protocol, or ODSIP. ODSIP builds on earlier work, originally dubbed the Distributed Ocean Data System, or DODS, but now called OpenDAP, that realizes several key concepts. One, URLs can correspond to data sets, and the same URLs with constraint expressions represent subsets. Retrievals from these URLs can be dataset descriptions or dataset contents. Three, the mechanisms for retrieval have been built into multilingual libraries that have led to many diverse clients and consequently to very flexible data usage. Within this OpenDAP framework, one can perform several kinds of subsetting. Selecting dataset entities by their names, selecting rows of a table by constraints on their values, and selecting subarrays by limiting the ranges of their indices. However, there are limits. For example, array subsets generally cannot be selected using value constraints. So, we're motivated to create EarthCube building blocks that address these limitations and, more generally, respond to changes in the data acquisition needs of geoscientists in a highly networked world. Needs for subsetting now increasingly must handle non-rectangular structures, such as triangular meshes, and or select portions of arrays that satisfy specified value constraints. Once the door to such pre-retrieval calculations is open, we think the basic notion of data acquisition can and should be extended to statistical summarization, binning, remapping, regridding, feature extraction, and other functions. However, we likely will impose limits so that these pre-retrieval operations reduce rather than increase the data transfer volumes. In conclusion, the ODSIP project will extend OpenDAP's data access protocol to include a rich language for pre-retrieval processing. In prototype form, its effectiveness will be tested for climate model downscaling in Hawaii, storm surge prediction in coastal North Carolina, and the analysis and synthesis of sea surface temperature fronts drawn from satellite imagery. These three contexts were chosen because they exercise statistical operations, polygonal mesh subsetting, and feature extraction, among other functions. I hope to see you at future EarthCube events, and I thank you for listening.